Hi guys, so in the last video, I introduced a function to set the border for the buttons and the input box here. But it was a quick fix, so it wasn't very flexible to set the border for these, these buttons and box. So I made an improvement here. If you go to the plugin page, click here, go to quantity style, and you see that there, there are some new options that I have added the options to set the border color for the quantity box, which is this one, and the increase and decrease button separately. So uh, here you set the border for the quantity box. And here you set the border for the input button, for the increase and decrease button. So for example, I change uh, the input color to red and make this green, like that. And maybe increase this to five to make it uh, easier for you to see the effects. So click on save settings here back to the shop page, reload it. As sure enough, we see the changes, uh, the changes uh, reflect. So it is, uh, it is the new feature and uh, you can read the label here to know which value to set. I'm going to set it back to like one pixel and make sure the buttons, uh, the border has same color and this is a quantity box size so you might want to set the border right and left to zero why because if if the decrease button and increase button already have this border here then it will make uh, this one and this one look thicker than you want you want them to be so I'm going to set it to like black like that and this one too and save settings go back to the shop page and there you go you have the border like this so uh, thank you very much for watching and I would love to hear your suggestion and request this is actually a request from a customer. I'll see you soon in the next video.